Okay, Sarah O'Kelly here with Skipper's Review TV. I'm at the West Palm Beach International Boat Show 2019 here in Florida. Absolutely gorgeous day. And I am with uh, William Mac... Daniel. Daniel. Bill McDaniel. Yeah. <laughs> Bill McDaniel. Marine Market Manager for Glen Raven Custom Fabrics. There you go. Yeah. Which one of those fabrics being uh, Sombrella. So it's not exactly an exciting topic, but it is a topic that we can all relate to. This, And we're going to talk, of course, about the marine end of things, uh -huh. bimini tops, cushion covers. But I'm interested to know how did Sombrella come up with and how do they get to the top of the line as far as no mildew, color not fading, mm -hmm. you can scrub it with whatever. How did all that start and come about? Well, it's basically that is a, a factor of the fiber itself, but Glen Raven is a 150-year-old textile company. Sombrella, is a, it was founded in 1960, so we're a 50-year-old plus uh, product. And the unique quality or unique, the unique thing about Sombrella is that it's it's uh, the, the color actually is an integral part of the fiber. So at the point that the fiber is extruded or it's formed, the colors put in prior to that. Our clothes, for instance, are basically the fibers formed, it's dyed after the fact, and it, it, if you cut it, it looks like a radish. The color doesn't go all the way through. So the durability, the performance, all of those characteristics are built into the fiber. It's not necessarily anything that we add to it. And what about the factor of no mildew? How come there's no mildew, mold, all that? Well, again, being a man-made fiber, uh, mold and mildew is a, actually a microorganism. So it has to have a food source or a protein source to be able to actually grow uh, and, and to live. Now, if something gets onto the fiber or onto the fabric, that if you spill something and don't clean it off or whatever, then it has the potential for mold and mildew to grow. The other unique thing, don't worry about it if that happens because you can use 100% bleach on Sombrella and it has no effect on the color or the strength and it'll kill the mold and clean it right up. So Sombrella is like it's a household name when it comes to outdoor fabrics and coverings. How did it start? How did it end up becoming what it is now? Well, uh, our company, uh, Glen Raven, uh, just a real brief history. We started out life as a uh, as, as a hosiery mill. We actually, our, one of our founders invented the pantyhose. Uh, the flag that's on the moon is made from, fab from uh, fabric is made in the Glen Raven company. And we uh, transitioned into the awning business, uh, again, in, in or prior to the 1960s. And at that time, uh, the fiber manufacturer came to us and said, we have this unique product we'd like for you to look at for uh, outdoor applications. That's how it got started. <clears throat> at, uh, at that point, it was two or three different styles and colors. And now it's literally hundreds, if not thousands. And do you have any other newer products coming on the line? Or are you still got the standard of what you've been offering for well, actually, a number of years? This year, I'm so, actually, this year, uh, very excited about this. It's a product called Horizon. It's a, uh, it's a vinyl-based uh, product that has a five-year warranty against loss of color or strength or, or any kind of atmos atmospheric uh, intervention. But uniquely, it also has a three-year warranty against uh, bacterial staining or pinking, which is something that's sort of been an issue over the last few years. If it does do that within those three-year uh, three time span, uh, we, we also have a $40 per yard uh, labor allowance to, to correct that. So uh, it's, it's the first time in the history of the company that we have a Sombrella branded product that's not woven and it's complementary to the fabrics that we do weave so we're very excited about that and it'll be available in just a very short time. What kind of uses will that be used for you think? It's primarily seating so you can use it in the cockpit area. What we like to say is Sombrella is eminently cleanable but it's not necessarily wipeable. Uh, so vinyl, this product is something you can wipe off as something gets on there. Uh, typically, if you get to it early enough, you can wipe anything off a of Sombrella. It'll come off. But if it stays there and it does happen to stain, then it is cleanable, but it's not wipeable. So that's what we were after. All right. Well, thank you so much, Bill. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you guys for watching. As Sarah O'Kelly at Skipper's Review TV at the West Palm Beach International Boat Show 2019.